Hey, cousin, if you need me, I'm in, man. I'll help you out. With family, it's really funny. You never know when or know how. Sometimes they'll surprise you. They'll even shock you, even. It's kind of like life. Sometimes you just have to relax and wait for it. Living the life of a thief is bullshit. It's really not what it's cracked up to be. I mean, the money's great. But I spend most of my time alone. Planning. Research. Finding ways to get around the system. For me, sleep isn't even a possibility these days. I'm so into the game now, I can't stop. You know, in this life, nothing is forever. Forever is a lie. All we have is what's between hello and goodbye. The life of a thief. How much money have you ever seen somebody win at a casino? I think the biggest I've ever seen anybody win is about fifty to fifty-five thousand. Wow. So I'm I'm probably gonna. Wow. I wonder can I even win that much tonight? What do you think? Um, I don't know. You, uh, you don't seem like you really know the game very well. Played the game quite well, I did actually. And that single night in Las Vegas. I made out with nine hundred and fifty million dollars. It was simple. I swiped my credit cards that I got from Danucci in every single major Las Vegas casino on the strip. Not bad for a young guy that most people said I had no future.
Hey, listen, that job I was telling you about. I can't help but replaying that night on the roof of my mind over and over. Everything that led up to that point, I just don't know. I can't see it coming. I don't know what went wrong. I wonder in my head constantly if Jeeves saw it coming. night in Las Vegas, murder was never on the agenda. I mean, in a split second gone, life just keeps replaying. Over and over and over again. Four seven seven zero zero. Four four six zero nine zero 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 zero. Got it? All right, Norman, my friend, looks like you're ten million dollars richer. Life is so precious. That's the problem with the business. You just never you see never it coming. See it. That's the problem with this con game. It's more like an in game. In your destiny. So much murder involved. In the last few seconds, I start to wonder what was he thinking. Well, I didn't think I went numb. When you're faced at a crossroads like that, that quick, that fast, you just go numb. You go blank. So much murder involved. Come on, baby. Sticky side of it all. I don't want any part of it. I just came to do business just to get money, just to get paid. I hate I had to get myself involved. That's the problem with this game. People like Danucci are a dime a dozen. Norman. <laughs> and they're reborn every day. Do I need to count this? No, they're expecting you. We got a deal. When you're staring down the barrel of a gun, there's there's no thought, there's no idea. 
you just go blank. Numb. Alright, Norman, my friend, looks like you're ten million dollars richer. Ten million in cash. There's ten million dollars right here. Excuse me, do you happen to know the time? Uh, it's skin 30. <laughs> Are you trying to be a smartass? Probably. <laughs> Hi, I'm Norman, Norman Lewis. Well, if it's like that, if it's that type of job, man, I ain't trying to do it, man. I'm sorry, dude. You know, I spent a long time in jail behind some crazy shit, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to do it, man. I'm sorry. You know, I love you, man, but you got to go to Vegas yourself on this one, man. But just keep me posted if you need help otherwise, but other than that, I can't do it, dude. Sorry. Hey, listen, that job I was telling you about, you know, The thing is, we don't really have much time to plan. Um... 100 million dollars. You bring me back one of the cards, I give you 10 million in good faith. You bring me back the other, and I'll give you the rest. As I made my exit out of Las Vegas that night, I recalled every single thing that happened to me in that 24-hour day. I thought maybe if I thought harder, I'd realize why the night went awry, how it ended in tragedy. That's the problem with your mind. It can play tricks on you.
So, what brings you to Las Vegas? Hey buddy, how did we come out? Four seven seven zero zero four four six zero nine zero 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 zero. Got it? All right, Norman, my friend. Looks like you're ten million dollars richer. Give me the fucking credit card. You know Mr. Tanucci? I work for him. So, do you have a goal in mind of how much you want to win while you're in town? About a billion dollars. <laughs> Norman, hand over the credit card. I've personally always thought the worst death would be murder. It can easily be random and unforeseen. Hand over the credit card. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Calm down, it's all right. Hand over the credit card. It's in my pocket. Here it is. Get on your fucking knees. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Now when you're a thief, you have three options. That's either get caught, get killed, or get away. And the first two, it's not even a consideration. Norman? <sighs> Freeze! Get down! Get down on your knees! Get down! Get down! Get down now! Get on your fucking knees! Welcome to Las Vegas. You're dead. Hey, listen, that job I was telling you about? I just need to know if you're in or if you're out. Can I get you a drink? That type of job, man? I ain't trying to do it, man. I'm sorry, dude.
I've personally always thought the worst death would be murder. It can easily be random and unforeseen. Listen, Norman, I've got a job for you out in New York, buddy. When do you need me out there? You've got 24 hours to decide. <laughs> 24 hours from when? You've got 24 hours. What? <laughs> 